Zero. It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular, just when you thought it was a series of small shakes. It would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. Detecting regularities among irregularities wouldn't be that difficult. Ha, huh, how boring. <gasps> Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. <laughs> You looked like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships? Oh, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. <laughs> you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. The silence! The silence! Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that... Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Huh, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's because I have luck as well. Makoto? Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. That doesn't sound like Makoto, though. Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope Speak Academy, too, right? So, you're one of us? Oh, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Okay, so at this point... It's before the school trip, right? So I can assume that Nagito has his memories, right? So... It's strange that he doesn't know this person. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Oh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, this world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Oh! Are you saying that you're being locked up by untalented people? Ah, perhaps, does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world, not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there is nothing you can do, right? Listen well, 
Using people is a talent too. It is now my turn to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already... Junko, they're already dead. I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now, it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time, will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Okay, yeah, now I see why giving him that painting of Junko was a bad idea. <laughs> Hate? Then, explain your hand. Ha, huh, this? What, is he wearing nails? The end of that bandage is a woman's hand, right? Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. Oh my god, he took her hand! But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. How did you get her hand? I see. So you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. Ha, huh, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that, I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Oh, that's strange. Huh? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha, look out the window! We're finally here! You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's gonna happen on the island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know, because I am loved by talent. But, no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm, really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. Well, that's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Who was that? That was... Okay. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Remember, we saw this door at the very beginning before. Classroom? Huh? Isn't this... a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient rune with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground, but then why... It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. 
It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we were all gathered in the classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? It's the old one. Exam. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it! He said, Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy! But... Why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? And not just that... What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? Uh-oh. Hang on. What is this? In a normal classroom, there'd be a window, but instead... There's this iron plate bolted here. When I try knocking on it with my fist... It looks like it's a pretty thick iron plate. Is this to keep us trapped? What the heck? This place, where iron plates are covering the windows inside the classroom. Is it really Hope's Peak Academy? Not so much hope, is there? Surveillance camera. I wonder, does this have the same purpose as the surveillance cameras on Jabberwock Island? If so, who's watching us? Is it whoever's controlling Monokuma? Whoever's controlling Monokuma? Did we ever even discuss this? Like, I, I was under the impression that everybody at the school, at the school, at the island, thought that Monokuma was like its in the own independent entity. The clock doesn't have any hands. Clock without hands is meaningless. Why would something like this be in a classroom? Ooh. Oh! Does this monitor serve the same purpose as the monitors on the island? Yep. Ha! Good thing I looked up. Oh! It's probably not a good sign. Okay, we need to be on the lookout for those things again. Now, one thing that's kind of strange about the con- Whoa. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least, it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the funhouse. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Yeah, as I was saying, one very strange thing is uh, when we're inside classrooms, so we're not allowed to freely walk, the, the controls randomly invert, I don't know why. You probably can't notice it, but it's kind of jarring for me. Alright. Can't go here. Can't even bash in there. So, one thing that I'm wondering about is, the whole time at the end of chapter 5, we kind of continued on, like we didn't know, like we weren't noticing that anything was going wrong. How come, how come we finally been able to notice it now? Oh my god, not this again. Ah! Ah! It's all locked. Ooh. Yeah, there won't be monokumas in the hallway, right? So I don't need to be too careful about that. Of course, of course. Oh! Are you kidding me? I did 
did not give you five presents and clean up all your poop for you to die right at the end. Screw this, I'm resetting it. Okay, I'm saving you. Whew, don't die please, thank you. The gymnasium is here, right? All right, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not gonna cower away anymore. And so, I brace myself and cautiously open the door. Woo! This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. It was a normal gymnasium. Uh. Yo, Hajime. Uh. You heard the announcement and came here too? You guys did too, right? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Hope's Peak Academy or something? That cannot be possible! You're right, any way you look at it, it's impossible. Hello! How does it feel to return to long-awaited Hope's Peak Academy? You? Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? What a shock! I just told you guys, this is Hope's Peak Academy! There's no way in hell that's true! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Hope Speak Academy. Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope Speak Academy felt you ruined. You were serious about that? Oh! Everyone's normal. But of course, it felt you ruined. I mean, they were doing things that they deserve to be ruined for. What do you mean? Hmm, anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope's Peak Academy, and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Hi, hi. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Hey, so it must be someone we met before already. Someone? <laughs> Enough of this bullshit! Just spit it out already! <laughs> Where'd you take us, you bastard? Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... It means... I made this Hope Speak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin! Oh, okay. Inside the ruin must be salvation for us, right? But Monokuma is stopping it. What do you mean between? What do you mean made? Oh my! Are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? Good! Very good! It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment! Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? There's nothing to be cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. It's just a simple graduation exam. Then, what is the graduation exam? Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally gonna graduate! But on the other hand, I'm worried whether you guys will be okay in the outside world! That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here, Huh? We're obviously gonna get out! There's no way we'd stay here! This is annoying! Just hurry up and let us choose! Let us choose right now! You can't do that! The main cast hasn't arrived yet! Main cast? Meaning, you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives! So enough complaining already! Hurry up and start researching the outside world! What do you mean? I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research through a Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... All the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. A 
Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. So, please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Ano? What is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Oi, oi. Like, he kept insisting that this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. But that's impossible, right? How do we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. Masaka. There is no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. Ah! I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this! What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hope's Peak Academy? This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long? What in the world is going on? Damn it, why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <sighs> You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Ano? Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Oi, Kura. Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. It... Uh, I don't really get it, but is that all? As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means... The Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. So, they're not World Ender? Then, we were really tricked by Monokuma? However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monomi never once denied that. Even if they're our allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma's telling us to investigate that information on our own. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. <sighs> so, what should we do? <laughs> well, that's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? <laughs> graduation exam, huh? Not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright, I'm gonna do it! Yeah, we might be able to learn about something. About Hope's Peak Academy. About ourselves. I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey, we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. <laughs> Hell yes! He's right. Now is not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what's happened to Hope Speak Academy? None of that matters. What's important is... I need to leave this island with the others. 
We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive, just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we never choose to stay on this island. No, nah, no. Nah. So, what are we gonna do? Can we start already? <sighs> but what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? <sighs> even so, I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well then, I'll just go on ahead for now! <laughs> hey, you already going? <laughs> what is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Uh -huh. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. Yes. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. Uh, if we stopped at the green light, we never reach our goal. Kana already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. <laughs> like Sonia said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Jana. I'll go on ahead. See you guys later. With those brief words, Fuyuhiko left the gym. <laughs> I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow, then left the gym. Miss Sonia. Sonia Miss Son Miss Sonia, please don't leave me! I'll be in danger if I'm left alone! Kazuichi chased after Sonia who had just departed and left the gym. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more, and it's gonna end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual, peaceful, everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. Wow, we are already in deadly life. Oh, hello. So one thing I'm thinking about is, if the Future Foundation is good for us, that means, well, okay, if they're good. So, they hid the password in Nezumi Castle so Monokuma couldn't touch it or get to it, right? Yeah, and the moment we opened the rune, he was able to manipulate it, so there must be some degree of safeguarding needed. But then, I'm wondering, why did they put Nezumi Castle on the fourth island then? Why would you not want to put something that's a safeguard on the beginning island? Whoa! Uh... Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but... It's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not gonna fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. I think... <laughs> they're a little bit less alarmed about it than I think they would be. Like, hey, what's this floating block in the air? No one's thinking that, so... Their thinking seems to be still confined somewhat. Okay, we're on the fifth floor. This hallway... There is a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. Is it just me? It's not. It's not. Well, fine, fine. We'll know where we need to go then. Right? Oh, that's open. That's not open. The locker? I don't know why I'm still expecting everything to be the same. Uh, is the first game. It is, though. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. I saw the thing on the ground. Bunch of wooden lockers. Traditional looking wood block key. Just for show. No clues. We'll look at everything anyway. Um, this cherry tree is in full bloom. 
It may be a tasteful sight to see a blooming cherry tree inside a dojo. But in this situation, it just looks bizarre. Yep, yep. It's an armor and helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect a Japanese dojo? Jap- Wait, map developers? Map developers? Excuse me? Target seems pretty far away. If the production team had more time, there could have been a mini game here. Ah, okay, Easter eggs. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> ah, no wonder this place seems strangely detailed with the flowing things. Because you know the flowing things? That was an addition to Danganronpa 2, right? In 1, they usually had static backgrounds, but this room alone, it had these floating petals. The cherry tree is proudly displaying its full blossoms. The falling petals add to the elegance of the scene. If Hyoko and Pekka were here, it would have looked truly picture picturesque. For their sakes as well, I would definitely go home. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? What is this? Is this a manga? The title is... Manga for Morons, A History of Hope's Peak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? Let's start with history first, class! Oh, no, no. Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history! Then what's first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person! <laughs> and the third way is not dependent on the person, right? So, just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really just want to ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. First of all, who is that cat in the background? I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope's Peak, his history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope's Peak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders in various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Oh, I didn't know about that. Hope's Peak isn't just a school for talent, it's also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope's Peak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. Oh, reserve course. Yup. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system. The Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope's Peak received an endless stream of applicants. Hope's Peak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand, like Ajime. With this, Hope's Peak managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope's Peak's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. Huh. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy. Hope's Peak was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that's suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mention at the end of this manga, the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. These names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents really happened, right? <laughs> you pick on those two words, but you don't pick on the, the most awful events of human history? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... No. It'll just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. 
The reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those rich kids, <laughs> right? That's weird. Oh, you're here again. Huh. The thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Why did you forget that you were a part of the reserve department? The future foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So, I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. What do you want me to say? He's like trickle feeding us this information. And uh, that's a very good point, actually. I never thought about that. Huh, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? You wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. That is the sixth time embarrassed. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Maga, maga. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. <laughs> Damn it. What the heck? <laughs> Truth bullets. Yeah, there's no way we're not having a trial. Whoever... Who are we waiting for to come here? I'm a little bit scared. It must be someone we know, right? Because Monokuma said it's nostalgic. Well, actually, that doesn't mean it's someone we know. It just means that it's someone familiar with this place. Oh, this hallway its kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I should be able to go to. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Got that right. Ooh. Oh my. Whoa. Oh, it's locked though. What's the point in coming here? What? Was there even any other room that's open? What? Hang on. So this is not open. That's that's open, but we went there already. Uh oh. Oh! Okay, so this was sealed before, right? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. It changes every time we come out. Another one. Where are the goddamn Monokumas? I know they're around here. Give it to me. Hmm. Yeah, they're not used to being shut in a building like this, because they've always had the free... They've always been able to see the sky. Hmm. A violin. Another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is... Manga for Morons, The Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, huh? Wasn't the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy mentioned in the other manga too? It's why Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt, and... It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? Wow, that is some sweet cover art. That must be... That definitely looks like a parody of some other manga. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. Oh my god. The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamukura. Oh, that's interesting, because that picture we saw at the funhouse was like an old dude, huh? Izuru was a genius, known as a symbol of hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all the resources to develop him. 
Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Ah, okay, so this might be the guy that Nagito was talking to in Chapter Zero. Wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such a rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. Okay, that explains why Nagito doesn't know him. But Izuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Hope's Peak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. Oh! Is this the room on the fifth floor? That's like full of blood and everything? However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of the Reserve Corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began. And that heralded Hope's Peak's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, okay, so they're, they're separate. The tragedy at Hope's Peak was just some students getting killed, and then the, the tragedy of humanity is something else. We're excited, Danganronpa Zero. What? With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak. What irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident, a talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. You should be lucky that you're comp incompetent. Damn it. He always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here, it's said that the reserve corps students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? I was just wondering about that! Was I a participant too? Oh, uh, hang on. At the fun house? Didn't they say Izuru found at the school? But th that would be like the beginning of Hope's Peak, right? So, this is the first class? At Hope's Peak Academy? Oh, I'm kind of confused right now, and I can't remember what the funhouse said specifically, so I'm just gonna forget it. <laughs> no, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Hmm. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, but... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? Could that be... Okay, so... Um, stuff was going down at Hope's Peak. So could it be Junko who took advantage of that to create even more chaos within the world? Like, on a global scale? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Hmm, that is strange. We'll just have to let things unfold. Is this how we're gonna spend the day? Just walking across? Fuyuhiko, you must be around here somewhere, right? Or Akane? Somebody? Somebody? Okay, no one's around today.
What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here! It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate, so I can get out of here already. Ah, the cover on this one looks kind of scary. Yup, don't die on me. Don't die on me, buddy. Hmm, I hope there wasn't a Monokuma in that other room. I wasn't really looking earlier. Not that closely, anyway. There's another manga just lying around here. This time, the title is... The Biggest, Most Awful, Most Tragic Event in Human History. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something really lame. I flipped through the pages and hoped that I was right. Ugh. There's a lot of exposition right now, Jesus. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest blah 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 event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is also that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with a sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the reserve corps students that trigger the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late, the ends and the means had vanished and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon, the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Okay, so they mentioned that this has some abnormalities, right? So what are they? Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization, the Ultimate Despairs, devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Good lord, there's so many, like, tongue-twisty words to read here. God. Repetitive, too. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic human- Oh my freaking god. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? 
my family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Office ladies like to eat candy? Enough. What is this mess of manga? I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but... But you did not remember that. Such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during the period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible! How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! Please understand, I'm rooting for you! If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it! I just want to help you guys, so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world! I see. So that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally gonna graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is really like. Whether you want to leave or not. He's trying to make us feel the spirit toward the outside world so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm gonna do what he wants. The spirit like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... No, that's definitely it. Eh, I mean, staying here probably is the better option. If the Future Foundation wants you to stay in here, there must be a reason for it. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use! I'm gonna freeze to death! I'm at my limit! I need to get out of here! Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Hmm... They dropped a lot of hints just now. <sighs> that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Like, what I mean is, I feel like we know the group of ultimate despairs. And by we know, I mean, isn't it us? Just think about why, why Nagito was so angry at us after reading his uh, book that Monokuma gave him. Couldn't it be because he found out that we're actually not symbols of hope, we're the symbols of despair? Nope, everything's okay. Hey, where is everybody? Haven't seen anyone around for a while. 